Shout out WYK Productions, shout out Recent Director. We are live in the Larry Rumpus, forever born new, forever sold. Witty, let's get it, hype shit. So, um, Witty, tell me about your worst music experience. Yo, my f worst music experience was actually out here in New York. Oh, City. shit. <laughs> Damn. I hate to say it, like, Shout out to Abe for not letting Witty perform and giving me one song to perform. You know what I'm saying? Like, much positivity to your confusing movement. But we support, we support art, but you didn't support us. So, but we still support you. So what? shout out to Ape NYC. I can pass this message too, because she tried to shit on us, but she didn't. It took the time out to make the flyer for me all right. nice and shit. So I'm waiting to perform and I'm like, hey, y'all got any more performances love? She's just like, she looked at me, no. Oh shit. I'm like, you know what? All right, bet, 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 bet. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get ignorant, but I'm like, nah, it ain't even, it ain't even cause for that. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm great. I know my work. Yeah. But I'm not getting ignorant. I'm just being like fair right now, cause that wasn't something we said at that moment. But I, I want it, cause I want this video to pass around so it can just be before I hope she sees it in, in a positive manner. You know what I'm saying? I aim at NYC. Because yeah. it's like on some real, like you, you can't book artists for events and have us promote your stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And have people really push, because we was very, like, we were sharing her, her flyers. We told yeah. people, we had people come like out for more longer than that. Yeah. For, for us to arrive at the event, she gave us a warm welcome and everything. And then you wasn't organized with your artists that you had on your lineup mm. to the point where when it was coming down to the end of the lineup, my performance was rushed and Witty was ignored. And that wasn't cool. When you book two art, especially when you book a movement together, you know what I'm saying? Like you're booking the movement together as a set. So that was kind of like the beginning stages of Forever So Live because like, I, I want, we, we both uh, achieved to feel loved in the show, to feel appreciated, our talent to feel appreciated in the show. So, and I don't want to say it like to get shitted on, but in the sense, it, he did. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For for the performance, and you booked him, but at the same time, he got free promo. There's a lot of vet curators that do that, and I that same thing happened to me. I, I would say it, it kind of motivated you guys in the same thing. It did, right? it did, because disappointment, pain always brings purpose. Oh, yeah. Disappointment right. always shines the light on what you need to work on to get mm -hmm. to where you need to be. And like I said, it's no hard feelings. Right. Like if I had to speak to her tomorrow, I wish her nothing but the best. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. like we're making jokes about it now, we're talking about it now, and I hope like when she sees this, it's all from positive experiences. But it's right. just like we curate shows. You know what I'm saying? We we I've been curating shows for years and mm -hmm. Winnie has been doing his own movement in New Orleans before he came to right. New York. So we had a sense of business before we even decided to work together and, and this is bigger than our relationship. Oh, so you guys decided to collaborate. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We together we lit. Mm -hmm. So that was it. So we both got both hell, we was even in a group chat together. You know what I'm saying? When we would tag, when we would share the flyer, Witty would tag me, I would tag him because we would share both of our flyers. So you being the vision, you have to be organized as fuck. And I know that's a hard task, but it's called being an adult You're right. and being in business and being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and giving back to your community. This is what you chose to do. Right. right. And because of that... So it's really a you problem, you know? It's not... It's yeah. a you problem, but a lot it. of people don't realize in business, your you problems affects other people. Right. And, and part of being a business is being in business and it's Right. You realizing you have to check your shit within yourself, hold yourself accountable, and then move forward. But if you're not gonna hold yourself accountable, you can't grow. If I don't know you personally, I'm aware. What is aware? Where we have right. a list, we have the timestamps, and we make a group chat. So every artist feel like they're included and they're not excluded mm -hmm. out of what the plans are on? for the show. Yeah. So if I am making an event and I put you in the chat and everything, even though I don't know you, you feel personable. You feel like you're important. So when you come in and you check into the event, whether you see Wedding myself or an associate of ours, you know that you matter. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? I totally understand And that. Yeah. I felt like that we did not matter. I felt like a lot right. of artists there did not matter. And don't get it twisted. I've done an event where, hell, I hope this get passed around too. Shout out to Dizzy Brown. You feel me? But I just did a word up poetry, a word poetry event. And it was like uh, so many poets were overbooked. And then the host that was there was not communicating with the visionary behind the event. 
So they're choosing whoever they want to go on first or whatever. They letting people go for the time. So now it's time for like the lit ass post to go on. Huh. They're telling me I only got three minutes. Fuck am I wow. gonna say in three minutes? Right. This and, and and things like this, I don't get angry at it. I take it as learning experiences from my own crap. Right. We are late to our own shit. You feel me? And then us being late to our own shit, us being late to something that we are trying to give back to the community is making other people late for their own goals. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. If you want a show a certain way, same way you had to write a book report in school, who, what, when, where, and how, same sh way that you should do showcases and have everything written down, organize a parent so people can feel like they're appreciated mm -hmm. and you know, your work can go further. We put that little bit of care. What is making it mean to you? Uh, what making it means to me, in the truest essence, I feel like making it means to me is being able to give back to your people first. Well, first of all, giving back to yourself, helping yourself, right. then helping your family, and then helping your community. Right. That's what it means to make it. it. It doesn't mean that you're the most popular, the most successful, the most money in the bank, the most handsome, the, the, the most beautiful. It doesn't mean none of that. It just means at the truest essence, just being able to give what the creator instilled inside of you back to your community and the people that are right. to affect them right. in the most positive manner. That's what it means to me. Mm -hmm. Waking up every day consistently doing your passion. What you and, love to do, right. Yeah, and being successful every day in doing what you're doing. Because I feel like, you know, at first for me, I grew up with just thinking that money and popularity and status means everything. And then when you have those things in front of you, and you realize it does not give you that fulfillment and happiness yeah. that you need. You realize making it is waking up every day and taking a big glass of humility to receive the blessings around you to grow. You know, a lot of these opportunities that have been, have, that have been gifted to us mm -hmm. in, like as a couple, mm -hmm. as individuals, and for our brand has been through who we know and what we give each day by our definition of making it. So, right. yeah. And I, I definitely just want to add, like, on a personal level, on a personal scale of my, like, you know, my personal music growth and music journey. I just want to say, um, I've, another, another, another way that I would look at making it just on an artistry level, I have to win a Grammy. Huh. I have to right. definitely win a Grammy and I'm manifesting it my, for myself. I'm not saying you're not going to win a Grammy because you are. I don't want that to be a definition of making it because we don't need full awards to say that we have talent that was already instilled into your, our generations of culture. And that's what, what I want us to make it as to understand. And this is as a community. We don't need accolades to say that we got it. And, and that's a lot of us as, as children, as adults and such, is status, is sneakers, is clothing, is money to say that we got it, awards. We don't need that. You have it. You being out of where you're at to be here is inspiring people. Mm -hmm. That's making it. To them, you made it in a sense. You are, even though you're struggling, you're, you made it. But I do feel like as as an adult, we need that reassurance. Like, yeah, you know, when you're an adult, you. no one says like you're doing you. good. Right. You know, we you, need that. As as we are people, we're yeah. different adults though. We're people yes. of color adults. So what we want as acknowledgement is deeper than people really acknowledging us. It's like a community as a whole, mm -hmm. uh, cultures acknowledging us for what we have given to them. And that stems off into different things, and that's not something that we address, but I feel like that's bigger. Because if, if we want to look at it, there's plenty of people of statu stat status that haven't mm -hmm. received awards, haven't received notions of their greatness or anything, and they have to keep striving forward to just feel like, I made it. saying this, we don't need accolades to say that we made it. Realize I mean, that. The people that he inspired by just listening to his music, it's on the same level because I haven't met this man. Or right. I don't know him, but he's yeah. inspired me so much. I understand to, to that. My music and I'm not that. saying that, but what I'm saying is you will never hear him say, I need a Grammy to say I made it. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. What you're saying. Yeah. Your greatness of your art is how you make it. Right. That's what inspired you are a trophy. Mm -hmm. Your community of your scene of art and it's like you're not noticing what I'm doing. Like people are so forgetful. So you just always have to 
be dropping new shit because yeah. people are just not gonna care about what you're doing like the way you care about it. Right. Inspiring to other people when I don't feel inspired mm -hmm. right now. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at this point where I'm I wouldn't say I'm healed, but I'm 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 going, you know what I'm saying? And yes. I'm at this point where I accept things for what it is. I'm okay, I've I've cried out like whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm at this point of wanting to give this back to other people. But at the same time, you still need that reflection mode so you can see where you've been last year and just reflect. And since I came back into the industry from that time of reflection, just from family issues and to come back, I my my support base have not given me that break mm. because they don't want it. So you gotta flow with the people, but at the same time, you always gotta do mental check-ins with yourself. And it and it goes back to show you what we were talking about with celebrities earlier, with like R. Kelly and different people that they never had that moment of reflection for themselves where now they they as soon as they enter into this phase or this scene or this industry they've been working 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 where you don't have that mental break to think like damn i'm not okay right now mm. i need to talk to somebody and that can take a very large Big toll on somebody yes. so that's been my biggest battle right now or just of, being the person that, that has to have yes, it always together right like, we're looking at you like you're the curator you're the right. one that always has to get and i'm tired of people looking at me as a perfectionist because mm -hmm. i'm not i scratch my ass every day i oh. i make errors for you real fought too? i fought too like you oh. know what i'm saying we do like we're not perfect people you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> But like I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of it. I just want right. people to see me as a soul, and I got something to give. And part of me giving whatever is just me giving you a gift of you showing your art. And I don't want to only inspire people. I want people to know that they inspire me as well. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't just come to events to bring people out. I have supporters because like I wanted people around me that felt they breathe and act the same way as me and they have the same goals and we all are achieving for the same thing like that's right. it so I don't want people to only look at it as like hey I love what you're doing and I'm coming for you I want you to come out to my event for yourself and mm -hmm. if you come into my event for me then don't come <laughs> it's crazy because I feel the same way. Like when I do my events, like, like I said, it's not about me. Like, I don't act. It's at my not show. about me. I don't perform at my show. Real shit. And to the point where I'm not even hosting anymore. Like shout out Tish Money. Like first of all, Tish Money. Make a movie, then making a sequel. All these. Hey, hey, I that's love my, my sis. sis. That's my sister. I love like, my sister. She's a better host than me. I got first of all, she is, like, and she's yeah, cute. She is. is. <laughs> yes. So I'm like, you know what? Let me step back from being a host. I want a Teach Money to host and right. she's on some. First of I all, got this. I got all Teach this. Money is gonna be the littlest comedian out there Hell on the yeah. streets. You feel me? Like she'll be snatching all these niggas' wigs and hair masks or I fucks with her. I fucks with what she's doing. She's doing it out for the plus size my man. She yes. needs to you know, I I definitely want you to just push her more to like mm. just fall into Even her more greatness. Yes. Yeah, she's great as fuck. And you know, especially with us being like pleasantly plump. People of color, we don't get that extra love that others get. Yes. So we gotta just always encourage each other. And I just want to en encourage my sister friend because she's doing a lot. She inspires me because she be Hell bold yeah. as fuck, drunk as fuck on camera, yeah. doing her shit, pulling her wig off. Yeah. She got all her white homegirls pulling their wigs Yo, off too. She got and that's island inspiring chicks, everybody. Yeah, goes, she lit. And she in Long Island, she got a car, she yep. doing her shit, she working, she smart as fuck, she just ratchet. And everybody need a little touch of ratchet. It's just to have that genuine connection with people and just to be involved with people and just to know what people want and you know how to gravitate around people. Right. So um, most people don't ask this question anymore, but who's, what's your top five, dead or alive? Go ahead. Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Biggie, Celine Dion. I know y'all didn't expect that. <laughs> they actually did. I thought Celine... you said Bob Molly. No, Bob Molly is my third. Bob Molly says so Biggie, Celine Dion, Bob Molly, Avon, Donnell Jones. Music So Child is in the same level Don Donnell Jones and right. Avon. And Erica Badu. I'm sorry, I got too much. I got 10. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for real. Like, they're, they're in two pockets on the list, too. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely go with Currency, shout out to Jet Life. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Joey Badass, shout out to Pro Era. Okay, okay. Joey Badass and is my cousin. I'm definitely going with Kendrick Lamar, shout out to TDE. Uh, Curtis Mayfield, shout out to whatever label he was signed under. 
And for the fifth, uh, you know, I'm saying just the, just the number five. No, like I said, no particular order from the beginning. I'm gonna definitely see myself. I'm gonna definitely give a big up to myself because I feel like if you don't see yourself as a top artist or put yourself in the top, then what are you really doing it for? Oh, like you gotta have that motivation yeah. and that belief in yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna change my answer now. Uh -huh. I'm playing. Myself came first, but I just had to give like old to like the old school people because I feel like when you get to your late twenties and stuff, yeah. it's like. Me going through a mid-30 crisis I'm in my late outfit, I'm getting fine like wine in the summertime, boo. I don't consider it old, okay? Yeah. I'm considering it seasoned, okay? What's gonna make you guys different from every artist? You're a poet, you're a rapper. The vibe. I mean, we have a lot of poets and rappers. What's gonna make you the different? The vibe, so? bro, we just, the, what is, what is this, what is this called, Winnie? Forever so, forever so live, what are we doing? We bringing soul to each and everywhere we go. Bringing yeah. a strong dose of soul each and everywhere we go. And that's right. different. And that's soul from NOLA. That's soul from Brooklyn. That's mm -hmm. soul from the Caribbean. That's mm -hmm. soul within each other. That's that's different. Right. A lot of people don't realize it's the energy. It's not you. Like it's 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 something bigger than you, mm -hmm. inside of you that inspires people. You know what I'm saying? That makes you listen to an artist, that make you go to a show, that makes you paint a painting, that makes you open a book. Right. It's something deeper. So it's you having that energy and bringing that strong dose of soul wherever you go. Mm -hmm. And that's what's making us different. And that's what's blowing us up. And confidence is golden, you feel me? So bringing that soul with confidence and love, especially you don't see Black love in the community. You really don't, man. Creating, yeah. we we are about we that too. For the and no we don't have hangups or anything like that. Like it's not our hangup is us not producing art. Mm -hmm. Like our hangup is not oh this girl talking to you, this guy. It's just being stagnant. It's not, like moments. No, we it's really being stagnant and mm -hmm. not feeling like we're doing enough yes. as people. Like yeah. I'm proud of Whitney. Like damn, I don't feel like I help them. Executing projects is, is right. It should be yeah. Hell, I I cried to him about that the other day. I mean, day, that's great right? arguments, though. I, I love yeah. that's great arguments. Yeah, yeah I was like, Word. man, babe, I feel like I'm curating all the time, and I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, producing your own produce, art, yeah. producing my own art. But then he checked me like, sometimes you need to take a step back to help other people because they right. need some healing right now. And mm -hmm. not saying that you're not producing. You have so much artwork that you have. I have so much work that I have ready to drop for this year and next <laughs> year that the world is not prepared for but i am he is you know what i'm saying he has a lot a ton of work as well but we're just choosing the right moments to drop right. everything right. but at the same time it's just like knowing who we are as people that we can do it together within yes. our own time frame and that's it no hang ups just love light and you know lessons i feel like what's gonna make me different as an artist is just like the overall energy, you feel me? Cause like I could go from zero to sixty in a hundred seconds, like for real, cause it's a real hype shit. You hear me? No forever ball, new we in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? So what's gonna make us different is cause we coming with everything. We coming with full energy. We coming at y'all third eyes to make it so y'all wake up. And if y'all shit calcify, we gonna decalcify it straight up like that. Hype shit. That's a fact. Let's get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nick, I wasn't I love even prepared it. for yeah. that. I wasn't even prepared yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero yeah. to sixty. Shit, That's right? a fact. So, um, <laughs> would you guys mind like doing like a show performance? No. I don't. Do you? Her pain through a wall of roses. She loves the arts, just enjoys it, just reveling in her youth, living in shit. Molly just didn't know how to handle her problems at hand, so she went and decided to see Trippy the Trap Man. Hey Trippy, how do you do? You see my name is Molly, if you're ready to and new, and I have some money right here for you, just give me that whimsical high through and through, through and through. Hey my dog, yeah I have it all, I'm the man to connect the goat. Just sit down Molly girl, just take a note. You see anything you wanna try, the loudest MJ to get you high as you sing MJ floating by. Oh, if you would like to rock her, 
you see, I like to ski. The widest of the white straight pyramids. They be playing nature, cause I see niggas in the matrix in the same position he in. The government regulating shit that we in. That nigga that killed your brother got his brother screaming, free him. Let me see that. Can you look at life from both sides? Open up your mind, the songs of blessing in disguise. Video games and game tapes. When you go step outside that box and let your brain wake. Video games and game tapes. When you go step outside that box and let your brain wake. Hold up, turn the system off. These niggas screaming they aren't a new level, but ain't even defeat a boss. Playing street hoops, I get you cross. Sub zero, feel the frost from these cold streets. Don't get like a lies and wind up on the beat. Never had cold feet in this game of life. Nigga, winning trophies. Thank you.